coming soon segment where we talk about movies opening this weekend brought to you by our friends at AMC Theaters. On Tuesday, we talked about Spectre. Uh, today, we're talking about the Peanuts movie. Ashley, can you tell us a little bit about of the Peanuts movie? Of course I can. Life always seems complicated for good old Charlie Brown, the boy who always tries his best against seemingly impossible odds. When the little red-haired girl moves into his neighborhood, Charlie Brown finds himself smitten with her. As he deals with his feelings, his best friend Snoopy embarks on his own adventure in a fantasy world. As a World War I flying ace, the lovable beagle pursues his nemesis, the Red Baron, while also trying to win the heart of a beautiful pilot named Fifi. The Peanuts movie opens tomorrow in AMC theaters everywhere. Christian, what do you think about this movie? You saw it, right? I saw, it. saw, I saw it. it. I saw it. I just put my review up last night. Um, it's awesome. It is really cool, and people with souls <laughs> will, will want to see it. I'm um, kidding. Uh, but the movie, the movie itself, look, if you're a Charlie Brown fan, what I was worried about going into the movie was that they were going to smurf this movie yeah, or smurf. chipmunk this yeah. movie and, and say, well, we got to modify it because not everybody knows what Charlie Brown is, so let's put modern-day music and stick like an actor in. And Neil Patrick Harris, is he around? They don't do any of that. It, it takes you right back to what you liked about Charlie Brown. Now, if you don't like Charlie Brown, you're not, you're not going to care about the movie, but it just, it was emotional. Um, it, it, read, it had a lot, it just, it was a really, it was a good story. It, you know, some people had problems with the Snoopy and Red Baron thing when they were young. Like mm. you either love those things or you're like, ah, why'd they throw random Snoopy? Have Like that's in there. I loved it. I'm a big Snoopy fan. I love all the Red Baron stuff, but it just felt like uh, Charles Schultz. It felt like I was back as a kid watching it. It's a really cool watch. Yeah, I haven't seen it yet, but I'm looking forward to it. I might try and see it either tonight, definitely sometime this yeah. weekend. And you're right, that the whole thing is it felt like the Peanuts. It felt like Charlie Brown. It felt like Snoopy. It wasn't like Alvin and the Chipmunks, which is one of the worst trailers I've ever oh, seen yeah. in my life. You know, like the you farts and poop jokes. <laughs> right. and dance, You know, none of that. Like, man, like how could you do that to... To, to the peanuts if if, if that actually yeah, happened. Yeah, they didn't. It, it's it not. didn't, so I'm looking forward to it. Schnepp? Yeah, I, I cannot wait. I loved all the Charlie Brown cartoons when I was a kid. I played Schroeder in You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown, when I was in high school. So I, I And I love Snoopy, so for me, I've been waiting for this since we saw the, the fir very first teaser mm -hmm. like a year ago, and I was like, wow, they're able to capture the cartoon, the printed like Sunday morning cartoon strip, but now it's in 3D and it doesn't feel weird. So you saw the whole film. How does it feel when you watch the whole movie? It doesn't. You don't. You, it it serves itself. It really like you. But that was a concern too. It's like, at, will this kind of animation work with Charlie Brown? And it does because what they even do is they even give you some of the old school and they put it in there. Like when he has memories, they throw back ah. to it. It's it's really creative. It's smart. even Ray. You hear him like, oh, oh. <laughs> it's, it's like it's because it is. It's like and the music. The second the music hits, it's like the difference. Again, Dennis, we always seem to bring this up with Vacation, right? When vacations, the movie started, and, and Holiday Road played. It's like, oh, nostalgia, I'm in. And then, but when you have Charlie Brown, the music, the nostalgia, and it, hold, it holds through the whole time. Like, everything. Like, you'll get transported back to being a kid if you like being yeah. a kid. Yeah. There, there's someone at this table. <laughs> if you were human. All right, all right, guys. <laughs> who doesn't this seem morning, to be so excited. This morning in the production meeting, Dennis asked if I'm excited for the Charlie Brown movie. And I'm just not freaking excited for this. I'm not a Charlie Brown fan. What Charlie Brown reminds me of is when you're in grade school and your teacher doesn't know what to do because it's raining outside and you're not allowed to go outside for recess. So she's like, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put on Charlie Brown. That's exactly what Charlie Brown reminds me of. And all the kids are like, oh, I don't want to watch Charlie Brown. I'm just not a Charlie Brown fan. That's fair. That's, yeah. a, right. that, that's fair. It was, See, it was, I was a, locked in a room. But that's not what you said. It was like, no one I know wants to watch this yeah. movie. I think it, I no think it can. I think it can transfer. I think there are a lot of generations that will see it. But I agree with you, though. I do think that there are some people who won't give a crap about it. You shouldn't like it. You know, you don't like it. You're not going to love it. I'm just but not a fan. I think that there are many generations that will. At first, I thought she said she was like, "Oh, Charlie Brown reminds me of a kid I used to pick on <laughs> yeah. in elementary I was school." Not a bully. Which, yeah. Oh my god! When your <laughs> when your teacher when your teacher locked the door, did it sound like this? <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what it sounded like. I would put money. I haven't even seen the movie yet but i put money on it that if if actually actually watches the movie she'll like, no, she'll I'll like see it the movie and, she'll and i'm cry. sure it'll I think be you great will. she's gonna rave about it i'm just it. not like oh my god yes i need to see right, this right. i'm just like okay i'll 
I'll see it. I'm sure it'll be great. And you said it was good. It so. is just because it's like it's like you really do feel you get the feels. It's it's like it's it's emotional and they do it the right way and like it's it's just got a, it's got a heart. And that's that was for me. I didn't know if I was gonna care enough about it to where I was like I like Charlie Brown, yeah. but I was rooting for him again. Like because he's just a, such a sad sack for a lot of it, you know. And then you're like, come on, kid, you can do it. Yeah. Did you and cry? No, but I had but the dog like the fact that you know the relationship with the dog and Snoopy's always got his back and it's never really mean spirited and even when they're called he's called blockhead there's like it, it it's a good story it's cool hey guys if you like this clip click here to watch the entire episode also make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at collider